The Williamson Medal is the highest honor this college confers on a student. The designation is based on highest standing in character, leadership, and scholarship. The Williamson Medal is awarded this year to Donnell James Butler. I'm having a hard time. Cause I, you know what, no one's ever asked me about commencement. No one's ever asked me about commencement. My liberal arts education didn't train me in a trade. It trained me to think. Because I say there's a lot of good things I've done in my life. That speech is probably one of the best things I did. Anything that has to do with students being stronger, better, faster, you know, and, and smarter and more successful in the things they do, it's my job to work with whoever it takes, whether it's other students, whether it's external partners, whether it's other colleagues on campus, so that we are better at doing that for our students. The best part of my job is sitting down with students and understanding what their experiences are. Not just what's happening, but why is it happening and how can we fix it so that it's better for everybody. That is exciting. And what frustrates me is when people don't want to make the effort where they go, well, it can't change. There's nothing we can do about it. Oh, Donnell, it's too hard to. If I could figure out the secret formula to getting people to recognize that they have a lot more power than they think they have. I'm living with my maternal grandmother back in the Bronx. I get this job at McDonald's and I'm the cleanup guy, I'm the janitor. About a month into the job, a situation arises where uh, both of our bathrooms go down. Signs everywhere, bathroom out of order, bathroom out of order. This woman, she proceeds to go to the women's room and use it. Well, she flushes the toilet, basically explosion. Customers are fleeing at this point, and I had to clean it up. And let me tell you something. Um, I cleaned it up. After I cleaned it up, <laughs> I went straight to my manager, and I said, this is the last day I'll be working at McDonald's. Thank you for the opportunity. <laughs> and that was it. That changed everything. From that day on, academically, I was almost unstoppable. I wanted to put myself in a position where I got to choose where I work, how I work, under what conditions do I work in. I knew the only way that was going to happen was through education. That was it. When I graduate from Horace Mann High School, I have acceptances to Cornell, UPenn, lots of great colleges around the country and this small liberal arts school in Lancaster, Pennsylvania called Franklin and Marshall. We head down to Franklin and Marshall, Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and it was an extraordinary day. Th this was individualized. I was like, wow, I think I might have to go to this college. I can't pass up an Ivy League school to go to a school that no one really has ever heard of before. That was my attitude. I knew if I came to Franklin and Marshall, I could do whatever I needed and wanted to do to be the person I wanted to be. I can contribute. That stuck with me. I still remember sitting there that last day, that deadline day, I'm with uh, a friend of mine, Hamina, and she's like, I know which one you're gonna pick. best decision I ever made in my life. Biggest risk I ever took. The Franklin and Marshall liberal arts education has taught me that I can do just about anything if I struggle and work hard enough. I learned how to think, I learned how to follow my dreams. I learned how to face challenges. 
I learned how to adapt. I even learned how to make my life a little better by trying to change the world around me.